Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple hepatic metastasis. You can see the scanning of the liver and multiple metastases are seen in the hepatic parenchyma, especially in the left lobe of the liver. At but some metastases are seen in the right lobe of the liver. Hepatic metastasis refers to cancer that has spread to the liver from somewhere else in the body. Liver metastases are not same as cancer that starts in the liver, which is called hepatocellular carcinoma. Now, the ultrasound imaging features of metastasis from GIT are as follows. Bull's eye appearance, as you can see in this case. Bull's eye appearance, multiple masses, irregular tumor border, arterial rim-like enhancement, and hypo enhancement in late vascular phase. Most intrahepatic cholangiocarcinomas are ductal adenocarcinoma. Hepatic metastases are 18 to 40 times more common than primary liver tumor. Ultrasound, CT, and MRI are all useful for detection of hepatic metastases. Now the sensitivity of ultrasound CT and magnetic resonance techniques for detecting liver metastasis can only be assessed in comparison with surgical inspection, intraoperative ultrasound and pathological examination. All methods are that are of uncertain accuracy in detecting in detecting very small lesions. But larger lesions are easily available, uh, easily visible. Liver metastases are tumors that have spread to the liver from other parts of the body. Cancer cells often have aggressive tendencies and will invade other areas of the body. They usually do so by floating in the bloodstream and then replicating themselves in a new place. Again, you can see multiple metastases almost in the whole length of the hepatic parenchyma. Liver metastasis means that cancer in one part of the body is spread to the person's liver. In these cases, the person has advanced or stage 4 cancer. Prognosis for liver metastasis tends to be poor with the roughly 11% survival rate for 5 years. Chemotherapy is the most common treatment for liver metastasis. It is used to help stop or slow the growth of cancer and relieve symptoms. Chemotherapy may also be used to shrink the cancer so surgery can be done or it may be given after surgery to lower the risk of cancer coming back. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.